What's up guys, I'm Tonefs here and welcome to a brand new transfer video and this time we are covering the biggest transfer deals of the summer but first an update about Liverpool FC so Liverpool are um, about to make a 25 million plus offer for Aston Villa's Christian Benteke and I'm a little bit disappointed about this because he shouldn't be our first choice striker target but uh, according to the closest sources close to the club they, he is our first choice uh, transfer target uh, striker target and I'm quite disappointed I would be more happy if we went for the likes of Gabaka or Aubameyang or Rondon uh, somebody who is a lot faster and more skillful but uh, hope I really hope that Aston Villa reject this and they, if they hold out for his buyout clause, which is 32.5 million, Liverpool won't be pay, paying that. So then we will move on to other targets. And at the moment, Ian Air, who sealed the Firmino transfer, he's still in Chile, Chile, where uh, you know Bakka is as well. So hopefully he can tie up that deal very soon. Bakka's release clause is just 21 and a half million. Pounds. He's uh, 10 million cheaper than Benteke and Baka is 28 years old. He's a, at the peak of his career So we would get a good three four years out of him and uh, He could be the striker that fires us into the top four next season with Coutinho and Firmino behind him He would be a br brilliant signing um, Let me know guys uh, Who should Liverpool or your favorite club in the Premier League sign? Who do you want? Um, your club to sign leave a comment right now I would love to know and Manchester City are close to winning the race to sign 60 million rated Paul Pogba Pogba is very close to Manchester City actually and uh, he would immediately improve the Manchester City uh, midfield but it, it would be tough to believe that Man City could do a deal with Juventus for Pogba because I think Pogba would prefer a move to Barcelona or Real Madrid or maybe his hometown club Paris Saint-Germain because he's from Paris I believe so um, so we will see wait and see it looks like Juventus are dragging on this for uh, to uh, um, result in a b bidding war for Pogba I think that's what they want that's what Juventus want so they can get the most amount of money for Pogba and also it looks like Manchester United have paid 35 million pounds for Sergio Ramos they want a new centre-back and it's a, a very ambitious signing Ramos is very unhappy with his uh, contract situation the, uh, reported the Perez hasn't offered me, him enough money uh, he doesn't feel valued enough by Real Madrid. He still has, uh, I think, two years left on his contract, but he's a club legend and Real Madrid should do everything in their powers to keep him. It, I think it would be a magnificent signing for Manchester United. Um, but at the moment, it, it might be just a ploy for Ramos to get a, a better contract. Also, Lionel Messi wants uh, Barcelona to sign Angel Di Maria. What do you think about this? Manchester United don't want to sell Di Maria, don't want to really to leave Man United after only one season. But if Barcelona come in with an outrageously big like 50-60 million offer then my, Man United might sell. The, pr the problem is Barcelona don't need him at all. I mean where would Di Maria play? Barcelona at the moment have uh, one of the best uh, front three players in the world, if not the best, Suarez, Messi and Neymar. So Di Maria really doesn't have a place in their lineup. Um, and also it looks like Morgan Schneiderlin is on his way to Manchester United and I can't uh, see why Arsenal haven't signed him up because earlier in the transfer window it was clear that Schneiderlin, he, he wanted to go last summer but Ma Southampton sold so many players mainly to Liverpool, uh, that they, they said Schne Schneiderlin you are not leaving, you have to play one more year but now he is certain to leave and Arsenal again are very slow in the transfer market uh, it took like two weeks for them to sign up Petr Cech, he's having a medical today Petr Cech to Arsenal, it looks like he's on his way for 11 million pounds and also um, 
uh, he will earn 100,000 uh, weekly wages at, at uh, Arsenal. I think it's a brilliant signing for Arsenal, but Arsenal, that's their big problem. They need to act quicker and more decisive in the transfer market. And on, on, until Arsenal sign a world-class striker, they will have uh, no chance of winning the Premier League. Because uh, Man City have Aguero, Chelsea have uh, Diego Costa, Manchester United have Van Persie and Rooney. Um, and uh, Arsenal have Giroud as their best striker and he's not a 20 goal a season striker so so Arsenal can definitely improve in that position also um, Manchester City and Manchester United are also uh, targeting Nicolas Otamendi the Valencia defender so it will be very interesting to see uh, who goes uh, for Otamendi in the end he's a very highly rated defender and also um, Tottenham are confident of uh, Mm, securing Toby Alve Alderweireld uh, uh, and sign him up from Atletico Madrid. He was on loan at Southampton last season and he was pretty impressive. But I'm not yet worried about uh, Tottenham. Uh, you know they, you know are they aren't capable of signing really really top class players. I think Liverpool signing up Firmino is a huge statement of intent. But we need uh, to sign. Uh, uh, striker who suits our t style of play and then I will be very very confident ahead of the new season but let me know guys what other big uh, transfer deals will happen and uh, should happen in the in the transfer window uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy these are kind of transfer videos they are a lot of fun to make so thanks for watching guys stay awesome see you later goodbye